Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, so today I'm going to be showing you a nice pink set. Um, the powders I'll be using today will be CJP and Sonia Williams for the glitters. So this is going to be a full video including prep. So there I was just pushing back my cuticles. Here I'm using my cuticle bit to remove any last dead skin around the cuticle area. Here I'm just using some nippers just to clear away some dead skin that are hanging from the cuticles. I'm just etching the nail plate now. Um, doing this very lightly and the file I'm using is an old one so it's pretty blunt so I'm not pressing down on my nails I'm just etching the plate just to remove all the shine and any last bits of dead cuticle Now I'm just tidying up the free edge, so I'm using my clippers to take off any last little dangly bits and using my file just to file away and give them all a nice even shape. I'm applying clear tips, almond shape. I buy these tips off Amazon. Um, I just apply a little bit of CJP gripper glue, place them onto the nail, making sure they're straight, and then just pushing down gently to remove any air bubbles and pushing in the sides to make sure they are properly adhered. So once they're all on, I then cut them down to size and then reshape into an almond stroke stiletto shape. This is a new file I'm using here, so I'm just scoring the edges so I don't cut myself. Once I've shaped the free edge, I then go over 
the wings of the tips just to blend them in with my natural nail. I don't touch my natural nail when I'm doing this. I do just angle my file so I'm only filing the tip. And again there, just blending it in because these tips are quite thick. Again, not touching the natural nail, just blending in the tip. This is dehydrating a bottle I'm using. I'm just applying one coat of this to all five, all ten fingers. And this is CJP Acid Bonder. Even though I'm using the one monomer, which doesn't need Acid Bonder, I still apply just a little thin coat to each nail. Here, once I've let everything dry, I'm just applying CJP Crystal Glass just to give the surface a nice smooth surface and give me something to file back to when I redesign. The first colour I'm using is Barbie Girl and I'm just going to be ombre in this on the thumb, the middle finger and the little finger. So I start at the tip just applying a little bit of colour and then blending it back into the natural nail and then I just apply a few more beads just to build up the colour. The cover pink I'm using to blend over the Barbie Girl is Amore and I don't use this colour often enough, I don't know why because it is a beautiful colour but they match together really really nicely. So I, the first bead I put down on the line of Barbie Girl and just blend it over and then the second bead I put in the cuticle area, tuck it into the cuticle area and then just brushing it down over the Barbie girl to create the blend. 
I'll then add some Sonia Williams glitter. It's from the cocktail range, so it, it's Cosmopolitan. First I add the multi-cut in like a swoosh across the nail. I did go right up into the cuticle area, but when I came to file it later, I did file some of that away because I put my amour too high. But it still looks a bit great when I finished. And then once I've applied some multi-cut, I then apply some of the bubble cut over the top, which is a bit of a chunkier glitter. So as you can see, all that glitter up in the cuticle area, I ended up filing away because I put my amour too thick. The middle finger and the baby finger are just going to be plain ombres. So I'll repeat the same process as I did on the thumb. Here I'm just capping the nails using CJP's crystal glass. On the pointer finger, I'm going to be doing a glitter fade using the two glitters that I've been using throughout this set. So first of all, I apply some of the Amour in the cuticle area just to cover the nail bed and give it a nice pinky look. I then take some of that Barbie Girl and I just put it on the tip just as a wash so I don't want any thickness or any like colour, I just want it as a backdrop of colour so I don't get any see-through bits when I apply the glitter. So as you can see I picked up a small bead of crystal glass and then dipped it into the glitter and then I just blend it back and then I just 
dip into it then with a wet brush just if I want to add any more glitter like that and then when I finished applying the multi cut and I've got the coverage that I like I then pick up another tiny bead of crystal glass and into the bubble cut and then cover the tip with the bubble cut On the ring finger I cover the nail bed area again with the Amour just to give it that pinky look I then bring it down to more on the one side and then I apply the Barbie girl on the tip again at an angle so it's not quite an ombre but it's the same sort of effect and then where the two colours meet I just go over with the Sonia Williams multi cuts first and then just put a few of the bubble cut over the top of that So here I'm just capping those two nails. I will then go off camera to file and buff. So once I've finished filing and buffing, I then use my dusty brush to get rid of all the dust on my hands. I using here cuticle oil in lemon from CJP and I go around all the cuticles and just rub it in just so I can pick up any last bits of dust that's in the cuticle area. I then go off and wash my hands in soap and water. Here I'm just using some, it's like um, a wipe off solution that I use to wipe off tacky layers of gel which I'm just using just to make sure that I've removed all that oil I've put on the cuticle oil, um, cuticle area and make sure there's no soap or any more dust on the nails to give them a really good clean before I top coat them. 
So first of all, I just put all that on, and then I pick up a dry, dry uh, lint-free cloth just to wipe off any excess liquid. I'm using CJP lint-free wipes there, and this is CJP tack-free top coat. And I'm just applying a thin layer to all the nails, and then I'm curing in my lamp. Um, it do, this top coat only needs 60 seconds, but I like to cure for 90. Don't ask me why, that's just my preference. So after I've cured the nails, I leave to cool for a couple of minutes and then I'm using my NAF Stuff Cuticle Oil in the fragrance of Cherry. And this is a lovely smelling cuticle oil. It smells of Cherry Bakewell and the scent lasts for ages. So I'm just going to go around all 10 nails, taking it all the way around the cuticle and then rubbing it in my fingers. I try not to get too much on top of the nails I don't want to leave any smears for when I come to take photographs. And this is your finished look. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and share and also subscribe. And if you hit the little bell, you'll be notified of any videos I put up in the future. And if you'd also like to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, I would be very grateful. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.